Alcohol companies never show a drunk person in their ads. Watch Orson Welles do a champagne commercial and report back. Casinos never show someone just trying to get my money back. Being drunk would mean that the person abused their product. Their product is intended to be used responsibly. And condom ads aren't pawns. They should have to read every side effect of alcohol at end of the ad like they do with prescription drugs. Just like they don't show obese people eating Mickey DS. Not every drunk person is a slurring, unbalanced disaster. It's quite easy to assume many of the people partying in various ads are somewhat sourced. It's illegal to show people actually drinking in ads. Like how McDonald ads don't show fat obese bastards screaming at workers for a free meal, because MR Sun's fries are too cold. Razor companies only show women shaving hairless legs. Vacuum ads vacuum fake dirt confetti or just crumbs, clean hair, but no real dust or dirt. Well they say drink responsibly. So uh, that's the whole point. I still find it weird vices are allowed to be advertised on TV. Everyone knows tobacco alcohol gambling is a thing. Maybe we don't need to show potentially life-destroying activities on TV? Because you are supposed to enjoy their product, not get drunk on their product. I know, I know. You know that not everyone who drinks alcohol is drunk out of their mind, right? Alcohol companies try to tie being rich, famous, and happy with their products. And yet, in reality it causes more damage and suffering than any of those perceived benefits. Actress makes duck face, tumbles downstairs and throws up. Positive voice coas, the banquet of beers. Wasn't there one where a woman was drunk going into a hotel? Disclaimers everywhere in the ad to drink responsibility, but if I remember right, rape might have even been implied. Course she was passing out and tripping all over the place or something like that. Can't find the ad now, but I remember seeing it multiple times. Maybe that's what triggered a law like this. If anyone else remembers or can find that ad please show me. Maybe show the morning after with sound effects. Sure they do. I've seen some, although in most of them the protagonists were acting drunk. Clothing ads never show an unattractive model. Auto companies only show a wrecked car when they are advertising OnStar Response. We should make laws forcing them to ruin your life now with alcohol. And McDonald's never shows a fat person in their ads. Because drunk people are an indictment of alcohol consumption. Not a good way to sell alcohol. Where I live it's illegal to advertise alcohol. Because they fully intend for you to drink responsibly a wink wink stop abusing our product. They don't show how you always get your name misspelled at Starbucks in Starbucks ads. For the same reason soda companies never show a person with cavities, gambling sites never show people getting their stuff repoed and painkiller manufacturers never show people popping an aneurysm. People rather believe in and pay for fairy tales. Not really a shower thought. It's legal compliance. They cannot even show someone take a sip. Funeral director adverts never show a dead guy. Chocolate companies never show fat people shrug hashtag hash. There's no way they actually drink alcohol for each take in the ad. Could you imagine what a buckfast advert would look like if it showed their regular customers? I've applied for the job, but no luck yet because that's not the intended use of their product. Anti-drinking groups should just take clips from Code Blue and then advertise the fines trouble the people got in. I'd assume they wouldn't want to even if they could. Toilet commercials never show shit. They also don't show anyone actually drinking. At least in the US. You also never see a guy sitting alone in his living room watching TV with a 12-pack. I think in the US, it's illegal to show someone drinking in alcohol commercials. Similarly, fast food companies never show obese people, 
gambling companies never show people broke and desperate and insurance companies never show people being hung out to dry by a technicality. Getting drunk is more fun than being drunk. They never show the guy beating his wife either. They are always quite happy though. It depends on the country's laws, but in Canada you can't advertise alcohol by having people drink it. Showing them hold it, clink glasses, and generally have a good time right beside alcohol is fine though. Condoms companies never show a person with post but clarity in their ads. They never show anyone even drinking real alcohol. Alcohol ads don't even show people consuming alcohol. I remember seeing one where a drunk guy wanders into a pizza shop to order a pizza. They ask if he wants it there or to go and he says delivery. So he waits for them to make the pizza, gets a ride home with the driver, goes inside and closes the door. Pizza guy rings the bell and he opens the door cool, pizza's here. It was an ad reminding people not to drink and drive. Neither do car commercials. They are all drunk, it is just the drunk person's perspective which is also why they are all good looking. Please drink responsibly. McDonald's never show obese people in their ads. Pretty sure they're not allowed to in the UK. I believe they're also not allowed to show anyone having their situation directly improved by consuming alcohol. The most you can show is people having a good time anyway while alcohol is present. You can find Paul Masson wine commercials on YouTube where Orson Welles is blotto. I was driving the other day and a radio ad for Coas said whatever you are doing, do it with a ice cold Coas so I stopped at a gas station and bought one for the road. Nope. You ever notice how every two years McDonald's features a lot of Olympic athletes? The Ego ads show a very traditional family sit-down breakfast centered around toaster waffles. Ad men aren't exactly the most honest folks. Yeah and McDonald's always shows fit, attractive people eating their food, not depressed fat ass trolls like me shoving McNuggets into my maw. Reality is depressing. Soda companies never show obese people in theirs either. It's illegal in a lot of countries to show people drunk, it's even illegal in some countries to show the alcohol actually being consumed. They're advertising alcohol not drunkness you idiot. In most cases they are allowed to. I think it's the law. It used to be illegal to advertise anything stronger than ever or wine on television. Now we Jack Daniels and others. And guess who changed the law so kids could see it? Obama. Not all drunks are violent, belligerent or vulgar. I think there are plenty of drunk football fans in beer commercials lol. Literally against the law. This isn't a shower though, it's ignorance. Of course not bad advertising. You don't see them crashing in flaming wrecks or falling down flights of stairs lol. They do they're just actors so you can't tell. No, no, they are all drunk that's just what it is like. They never even show a person taking even a sip of alcohol in any ad. Same reason why fast food commercials don't show fat people. They don't have to target who get drunk anyways. The ads are only for non-drinkers or light drinkers. Here, you're not even allowed to advertise alcohol in the first place. The way they get around this is by advertising the non-alcoholic versions of their products, hoping you'll know what to look for to get your buzz lol. Would be hilarious if they went with clip of that Sambuca girl at the bar xd. That is because most companies would prefer to show people using their product and not abusing their product. Shrug hashtag hash. Face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. Face with tears of joy weary face dot. Better yet there are signs in the pubs where I live telling you it's illegal to be drunk in public. True, but soap operas, news channels and movies profit from the awful consequences of irresponsible alcohol abuse. The ads just get the ball rolling if you think about it. Now here's a shower thought that I never thought I'd stumble upon. 
Same reason automobile companies do not show dead people from wrecks in them.